Okay, so I've uh, filled in this part now, and just very simply, um, just popping in casinos, uh, maxed out, of course, with uh, roulette houses. Now, what do you need to know? Uh, I've got three groups of hotels. Let's go to the gambling view. So I've got three groups of hotels here, here, and here. So that's keeping the traffic to like a manageable level. Still a bit snarly from time to time, but it's perfectly okay. And just to prove that it's perfectly okay, let's see, where are we? It's like, it's like 10 in the morning, zero fires, uh, zero deaths per day, and zero crime. Very few criminals around, all nice and safely locked up. Seven over there, 16 over there. Not many at all. I put in a, a police precinct here. To be honest, I don't know why. Because um, a police station would have been perfectly okay. We've got four police cars in there. Four police cars in there. That's it. That's the entire police force. I also put in just a bit of low wealth over here. I put an extra... Uh, burner on the garbage dump. I've got fire station. I, I put in one extra truck, so I've got three trucks. And there's the clinic, which is currently treating zero patients. Uh, two extra ambulances, one extra set of rooms. Uh, I put in an extra community college, so we've got one on each side of here. And, you know, that's about it. Okay, well, a couple of things that I should point out. Let's go back to the old gambling tab. And as you can see, yesterday we made 7 million profit. Uh, today, what is it, 4 p.m., we've already done 4.6. So I think we'll probably beat that. And we have 105 million simoleons at the moment. And we're making around 300,000 an hour. Okay, which... Um, I would say, was a fairly successful city. I'll leave you to make your own decision, but I'd say that's a reasonably successful city. So, as you can see, it's like incredibly simple. You know? I mean, there's, there, there really is nothing to it. Oh, I got rid of the, the Edificio Copain and put in uh, another casino over here. And, I, I mean, I've, I've tinkered with the roads a little bit just to sort of, you know, smooth them out. Um, let me bring up the roads view so you can see where there's any, uh, where there's any problems. Mm, bit of traffic down here. A little bit down here. This gets a little bit snarly sometimes. But, you know, generally, mm, traffic's not a problem. And we're just making, like, Tons and tons of cash. I did have a little look at the leaderboards earlier. Okay, the leaderboard on this. Uh, so a net gambling profit of 13 million is top. What am I? Net profit 26 million. So um, I'm kind of crushing the leaderboard at the moment. Uh, like double the number one. But this is, I think, you know, Oceanic 1, I can't imagine this is like a, a particularly uh, busy server. But one thing that we do need to start doing now, um, we've got the academy, right? We need to start running research projects. The way that the academy works is, it, it's powered by workers, okay? Um, and it produces something called Control Net, okay? And uh, let me bring up the old... Control net map so that you can see it. And it, it tells you here how much control net you've got. And currently we've got an excess of almost 4,000, which is generated by these guys. And um, if I pop it onto control net map, right, you can see this like radar pulsing out. Okay. And any, any academy-based future buildings um, are powered by ControlNet. So when we get our new like, fusion reactors and 
garbage atomizers and whatever, they're powered by the control net, which is uh, pulsing from here. And you can also put in these um, control net facilities. But first, before we can put any of that cool stuff in, um, we need to actually research some stuff. Now, in order to get the, the add-ons, which we'll talk about later, um, we need to have done research. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to research something, and I think we'll probably start with, hmm, we've got three choices. Wind, solar power, uh, sewage sanitizer, which is actually very cool, or maglev stations. Oh, come on, maglevs are cool. Yeah, of course we're going to go with maglevs. There you go. Right, so that's going to kick off and start researching, and like from now on we'll just keep this pretty much permanently researching something or other. Oh, look how, look how it glows when it's researching. Like that. Yes, definitely like that. Ooh, a hotel's on fire. But what I was looking at was this. I've never noticed that before. Look at that. They've got a revolving... That's probably like a, a revolving restaurant. Oh, that's very, very cool. Oh, I like that. And that's, that's not even a future building. That's one of the old ones. See, there's always something new to see. Like a burned down hotel. Wow, well, okay, that was quick. We've already got our uh, maglev station approved. Very nice. Okay, um, let's kick off the old sewage sanitizer. Oh, we're going to rattle through these, I think. Sewage sanitizer already researched. My God, this is running quick. Um, let's kick off the the wind solar power. This look look how fast this is going. This is just it races through these. We're gonna have we're gonna have fusion power before you know it. We're gonna have to get started on the old uh, secret research base up in the mountains. I'm looking forward to that one. No idea, no idea what I'm gonna build, but I'm still looking forward to it. Okay, well, the, the solar power's already finished. So these are rattling through. I've, I've just kicked off the um, the Academy Level 2 upgrade. Um, yeah, we're rocking. This is going to take a little bit longer to, uh, to research. How are we doing for workers? Yeah, I need, see, I need some more high-wealth workers. Um, now, the, the way the power works... Okay, you... Each of these has a multiplier. Low wealth has a multiplier of 1. Medium wealth has a multiplier of 2. And then this has a multiplier of... Uh, high wealth has a multiplier of 4. So 40 control net per worker, 20 control net per worker, and 10 control net per worker. So it's, it's really important, if you, if you want to progress quickly, to get um, plenty of high wealth workers in here. The sooner I actually get on with this and put some more high wealth on, the better. Okay, so we're over 130 million, and um, I think now is a really good time to build the Arcology, uh, which I promised I'd show you how to do in lightning fast time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gift um, 30 million over to the utility city, and we're going to build it from there. Okay, so we've got our gift of uh, 30 million. Great. Now, when you visit your um, utility city, the first thing you do, pause the game, switch off what you don't need. Okay, so like, I've just got one of these um, uh, water pumps running, which is um, this one over here, and one sewage running, and the same with your power, I've just got one of these running. Uh, because you, you don't want to be burning a lot of money unnecessarily if you don't have to. Um, now we're going to be here for a little while while we build the arcology. So I've just thrown in some basic services. Um, I've moved the power stations over here because um, the wind actually blows in this direction. Um, so when they were over here, they were blowing nasty smoke over these guys and making them sick. Um, which, if you're not here, doesn't matter. But if you're actually going to spend any time in your utility city, good idea to <laughs> Good idea to sort that out. Um, and I've thrown in a community college just so that they've got somewhere to go to school. Okay. Uh, only other change. 
I've just extended each of these roads just a little bit and thrown in some commercial. Okay? Then set your taxes to 7%. Just give them a, a, a little bit of a boost. And you should find that your city is like perfectly happy. Yeah, I mean, we're over 75%. That's fine. Um, so now let's get on with building the actual arcology itself. Now, the, the key to building the arcology quickly um, is to use five trade depots. Okay, um, let's actually get the thing started. So we'll jump over here. Now you need you need uh, two thousand eight hundred tons of metal, thousand tons of alloy, six hundred uh, sixty thousand crates of TVs. So we've got three times as much metal as alloy. Okay, remember that. So let's get that building good. Okay, we'll pop in. Uh, five trade depots. Now you want them as as close to the entrance that's going to get you to the great works as possible. So we'll pop that one. Okay, so there's our five, um, and I'm going to set three of them to metals, one to alloy, and one to TVs. Now, we do have to unlock the warehouses uh, for the various things we need. So, uh, metals and, and alloys, dead easy. We'll pop in at a recycling center. Okay, so we've got three of them with metals and one of them with alloy. Uh, in the fifth one, I'm going to put in uh, an ore storage lot. Now, the reason for doing that is because you need to put three types of warehouses down to, the, to get the, the, the second uh, part of the unlock for the trade HQ. Now, for the third part of the unlock, we need to trade 72,000 in global market resources in a day. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set each of these to import. So that's importing metals. Okay, so just importing that stuff has given us uh, the uh, the unlock for the trade HQ, so we can now place that. Okay, so now we need to unlock the electronics division, uh, so that that will give us access to um, the TV storage lot. Okay, so all we're going to do now is just set these to uh, export uh, and that should give us our unlock uh, but we have to wait until midnight okay so we're past midnight I've actually added an extra alloy bay just to make sure that we uh, we get over the quarter of a million now we just have to set them to export Okay, and boom, there's our upgrade. Now, depending on the prices on your server, you may or may not need that extra alloy bay, or you may even need to put in a third one. It just depends on the prices on your server. Right, let's put in this upgrade. And we want to put down the electronics division. Okay, now, with a bit of luck, there's the computer storage lot approved. Processors, computers, and TVs. Okay. So now we can get rid of that raw ore storage lot. Add the TVs. Now we've got everything that we need. So now we can turn these back to import. Okay. Last thing we need to do. Because we're importing, uh, and then we have to deliver the materials to the great works, we need to add delivery trucks. So max out all five, all five of these, uh, these trade depots with four trucks. Okay, now we want this, the traffic on this road to be as smooth as possible. And you can see, we've got some of the old snarly traffic down here. Okay, so I'm going to put a road in just there to help ease the traffic. 
Now the other thing is, a lot of these are starting to change to, to medium, because I've got medium density roads in here. So I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm actually going to unzone all of these so that they don't grow anymore. And in actual fact, I just want to make sure, yeah, we've just got, that's per that's kind of perfect actually. We've just got sort of, you know, four, five hundred unemployed, okay, because we're going to need some excess workers to go to the Great Works. Okay, last job. Go over here, switch on each of these so that we're shipping out our resources, speed this up, and now we'll see our delivery trucks going out and starting to deliver to the Arcology. Okay, now it's just a case of sit back and watch it grow.